All right, guys, so it's no secret where I am. If you're from Massachusetts, so um, I'm obvi obviously this is the canal. Don't want to go over there. So I'm going to stick to the boulders and the shoreline near the academy over here. And we'll see if we can get something. It's still a little early. Um, if you watch the Mass Maritime live cam, I've noticed they start come out around like seven, like an hour after sunrise. So it's like 6.30 right now and I am pooped. So got my life jacket on, obviously. Fish finder's working. These bays back here, the deepest I've seen so far is 13 feet. Uh, the water is 52 degrees. That's the surface temperature over here. So good enough. I'd like to catch something over 25 today, beat my personal best. I probably won't. Um, I do plan on keeping three fish today. So you can keep three 16 inch to tog and you can only keep one that's above 21 inches. So we're gonna see if we can't scoop something out of this corner over here. Wow, it's still shallow over here, it's crazy. Um, all right, so let me get situated, get my sinker on, get my crab on, and see if I can't catch something. Woo! All right, guys, so hitting up this spot over here, see how long I can stay over here for. Just gotta tuck up right against the wall. All right, guys, I'm just gonna show you the setup I'm using in this Tatog video. So the rod itself is a black hole challenger bank. It's a seven foot two blank, and it is rated up to four ounces. So you want a rod with some backbone for these fish. Um, they obviously fight really hard and you want some, a rod with enough backbone to yank those fish away from the rocks pretty quickly. Um, this rod has been through many repairs. I love this thing. It has black wrappings on it, purple, whatever. Um, got it six years ago at a Risa show down in Rhode Island and it's still kicking and well, I'll do whatever it is to keep this thing around. I love this rod. Um, as far as the reel, Shimano Tranks 301 is the left-handed version. And line, 40 pound Power Pro Super Slick Braid. Runs up the guides. Let's loosen this up quick. All right, to the business end. So got a snap swivel on here, nothing crazy. And then this material right here that I'm using for my leader, that is 50 pound Andy um, line. So you can buy that, that line or this line at like Dick's Sporting Good that's like six bucks for a 50 yard roll. It's really cheap. I don't see the reason to buy monofilament. The tog run off into the rocks and they damage it and you have to replace it. Um, not too frequently, but frequently enough, it doesn't justify spending fluorocarbon money on leader material. Um, this 50 pound monofilament works fine. It has plenty of thickness for it to rub a good amount of times on the rocks before it gives way or you need to replace it. Um, so this section right here is three feet long. I know it's hard to see, sorry three feet long. At the top of it, where it goes to the snap swivel, I use a surgeon's loop. You look that up online, how to tie that. Two thirds of the way down, I have a dropper loop. So I don't do knot tutorials because there's so many on Facebook. I mean, not Facebook, but um, YouTube. It doesn't make sense for me to do that. So um, dropper loop. The end of the loop, dropper's loop gets pressed through the eye of the hook of your choice. I usually use a 3-0 uh, hook uh, for tog fishing. I may go a little larger, a little smaller, depending on the population of fish that are in the area. Like if um, I notice a fish a little bit bigger, I'll throw in a, a hook a little bit bigger so I can use a larger crab. But 3-0 seems to be the way to go for me. So. I usually use Gamagatsu octopus hooks just because they're really sharp. I didn't feel, this was like a last minute trip, um, last minute decision to go for Tatog on this day. Um, so I just rummaged through my basement and looked for the first set of hooks that I could find. So this is just a little all purpose hook. 
I believe it's an Eagle Claw, believe it or not. So cheap stuff, don't have to go too crazy. Um, but the more expensive hooks like the Gamagatsus keep their point and they definitely penetrate a lot easier into the fish's mouth. Um, I was just being lazy this trip and I just wanted to get out. So dropper loop, when you put the hook on, make sure when you put it on that the pointed end comes up because if you press it through the wrong way, it's gonna point down. You're obviously not gonna hook fish. And then about six inches below the dropper loop, you have another little surgeon's loop and I'll show you this very important piece right here. Hold on one second, let me just set up the camera quick. So in my last videos, I don't know if you've watched them or not, but I put this section of lighter material at the end as a breakaway because tug, their nature is to run in the rocks and they're dragging around a sinker and more than likely the sink is going to get hung up in the rocks. You'll snap the rig off. The fish will be sitting there with the whole rig in its mouth with a four ounce stuck to a stuck in an area and it'll die. So um, it's more likely to get the fish up. And um, if you do snap your sinker off in the rocks, you just get snagged or whatever. You can just replace the loop in the sinker rather than the whole rig itself. So it is, it is a time saver and it's a little bit safer for the fish. So um, and also when you're on a kayak, getting snagged is never a good thing in current. I think I say it at the end of the video. Um, you want to snap this thing off, get moving quickly away from the area if it's current or um, that type of thing. You don't want to be messing around too long out in a kayak with a snag. So, all right, so the breakaway part is this 10 pound test mono material. It's really thin. Um, I don't know if you can see it now. So there it is. It's just a surgeon's loop. And I usually make the loop about two inches, two inches long, the loop itself. So you take the surgeon's loop of the main rig, the 50 pound material, you take the 10 pound test material, you put the loop of the 10 pound test over the surgeon's loop on the rig itself, like that. And then you take the tag end of the 10 pound test and put it through the eye and pull it down and that's it all right so that's your breakaway section take your sinker of your choice i usually start off with three ounces but really whatever you can get away with um, just make sure you tie your loops big enough for those sinkers that you are using so you just press that surgeon's loop through the eye of the sinker take that loop pull it over the bottom of the sinker and pull it tight and that is it so, I don't know if you can see that or not, but say you get stuck, this will snap usually fairly easy like that. So um, it does take a little bit of force. It's 10 pound test, but it's the 10 pound test is strong enough for you to cast this thing if you want it, and that's not gonna snap off. Um, you can use this rig from shore. If you are using this rig from shore, just make sure the leader section is a little bit longer because of the angle you're fishing from shore you're more likely to rub on rocks and the fish are definitely more likely to run in the rocks after you hook them so um, that's all i got i hope this was useful and if you have any modifications you guys do to a similar rig just let me know i'm always interested in learning so um, tie a lot of these rigs when you go out or whatever rig you may be using because like i said they get destroyed when you're actually catching fish or just fishing for tatag in general. So, all right, back to the fishing. One big fish. Hmm. Yeah, there's a good amount of life down there. So Buzzards Bay is coming to life. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a contender right there. This might be a netter. Maybe, we'll see. Oh, it's a white chin. You're coming with me. Yeah, I don't even need to measure him. He's a, he's 
not 21, but he's over 16. Hopefully I'll drop him in the water. Nice little fish. Oh, I feel a hook in his throat. Lucky boy. Uno. I actually went to the school in 2008. I only did like a semester there. And then went into the Navy. And then I became a nurse. Makes sense. That's a nice fish. Well, no, it's a little, little fish. Oh. Measure him quick. Nice short. Feel some rubbish down there. It's not good. Ooh, that's a keeper. Oh, maybe not. We'll see. I'm gonna keep two smaller ones. It'll be fine. Two small ones, and we'll. See if we can't catch a 21. Let's see. <clears throat> 16 on the dot. So it's a little white chin. So we're gonna keep him. Cute little female. Little wee fish. Oh, don't you do that to me. That's actually it's a missus, so she's going back. Ooh. All right, she's gone. I was going to show you. Tough little fish. Jeez, what is, is he stuck or is it decent fish? Holy smokes, that was a weird bite. Nice little chinner. Yeah, lots of males today, a lot, lot of males. This little chin man. Another little chinner. Holy smokes.
Ooh. Oh, all right. That. Whoa, 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 I didn't even realize how close he's getting to the wall. Nice little chinner. I'm gonna go back. Definitely a keeper, but all right. Never caught it to talk to Trump to drums before. It's different. Pretty cool. The short. Oh, oh maybe not. I think it's a small keeper. Oh, I felt rocks. Get out of there. Definitely, uh, definitely a keeper. Wow, ran out of crabs already. Wow, lots of males over here. Lots of males. Oh, this one has a tag in it. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it says male two, wubbered. So I guess I'm gonna do pop it out. Hmm. How do you take these things out? Oh, it's a little piece of fishing line. Oh, I caught one with a tag in it. All right, let him go. Thank you. Oh, huh. interesting. I'll mail that. Keep backing up. I'm not getting distracted, boys and girls. The only thing bad about um, these PDL kayaks is this gets a little annoying sometimes because obviously the turning radius isn't that great. So, oh, scaring all the fish away. I'm just joking. Oh, another tagged fish. Oh, this one's old. If you guys can see that or not. Let's take a picture of him quick. Yeah, all right, let me get this tag out. Sort of cool, I get to mail some of these in. All right, let's give it a little tug and it comes right out. So, there you go. 
is another one. Two tagged fish for today. Huh, two tagged fish today, but I guess this is where they tag them, so shouldn't be surprised. That uh that tag was crusty though. Oh, that's a good one right there. That's a good one. Oh, he's 16, we're good. Very good, so we got three keepers in the box. I think the larger one's probably 17, 18 inches, so we're good on the keepers, so I can try and catch me a nice tug. All right, whoa, all right. All right, that's a good one right there. Back away from this. Oh, he's coming up. That's a chinner. Oh, another tagged one. Holy smokes. Look at that, quick snap, and it comes out. It's like those little tags on your clothes. This is 2318, so I got three tagged fish today. Pretty sweet. This is actually a definitely a keeper tag. Ooh, oh yeah, look at that chin. It's got a little superhero chin on there. Nice little fish. All right, time to go. Time to go. Getting a little too hairy over here. Alrighty guys, so I'm heading back to my car right now. Um, headed home. It was a pretty good day. I got a good amount of keepers, so I think I caught very few shorts, maybe three or four shorts out of all those, and I caught over a dozen fish. So um, I think the largest one I got to measure is definitely over 16. I'm guessing it's 17, probably around 17, 17 and a half. I'm just guessing. Um, oh shoot, bag scared the crap out of me. Sorry, <laughs> I thought it was a seagull or something. So um, yeah, pretty good day. I caught three tagged fish. So um, again, I'm at Mass Maritime. It's obviously no secret. Um, never been over here before. First time fishing it, but there's a live underwater camera. I've been seeing a lot of tog, and it's, it's not a secret, so that's why I don't. I don't really care. I'm not really spot burning. So, um, yeah, green crabs have some um, Asian shore crabs. that seem to work pretty well. I didn't notice a difference. If they're there, they'll eat it. Um, slack tide. There was absolutely nothing nothing for well over an hour, no bite. Um, and as soon as the tide started coming in, it was perfect. Um, so outgoing, in incoming, as long as there's moving water, seems to be good. Um, so the Mass Maritime ship is not here. I think it was called the, I think it's called the Enterprise now or the Kennedy, I forget which one it was. I went here, um, I went to that school in 2008 um, and I know they switched the name that I just forget, so. 
Um, yeah, good day. Kept three small keepers, all chinners, all males. So uh, I'm gonna make some nice dinner. Let me see if I can take a peek. I got three nice, three nice male fish. All the females went back. I think I only caught, I'm gonna let this boat go quick. Um, I caught very few females, I'm, I'm surprised. So pretty good. Um, that was like 25 feet of water over there at low tide. So um, you do the math. So I'm gonna head back, good day. Um, just get out and go fishing. If you come out here on your kayak, you better be careful. That's all I have to say, even if, I don't even know if I should have been out here, but um, just be patient, be careful, watch what's going on around you. Stay close to shore. Um, yeah, stripers popping over there. I'm not gonna do it, I'm gonna go home. Um, be mindful, Be listen for what's going on around you because when there's boats coming around that corner over there, you can't he hear them until they are right there. They're not pulling in right there, but you have to be mindful of the waves. Um, make sure someone knows where you are at all times. So um, I just keep in touch with uh, my friend or my wife. So if something were to happen, they sort of know where they are. And that's not just here. That's even if I'm freshwater fishing or something like that. Um, that's really it. So, and just watch the weather before you go out. Just watch the winds and watch the tides. And that's really all I can tell you. Just be patient with, with what's going on. So if you get stuck, if you get snagged, um, people don't often think about this, but in a current area like that, if you get snagged, give it one or two tries to try and pop it out. Otherwise just cut it. Don't sit there and screw around with that. Um, just cut it right at the top of the rod and retie. It's not worth chasing around um, a piece of lead and a hook. So, all right guys, be safe out there. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's very short. Um, I had fun doing it. Um, give it a try around Mass Maritime. It's a good place.